Since 1921, it's been a center of Norwich Athletics. It's been a break from the rigors of academia and the place that turned boys into men. It's been home of the gate and the anchor, the propeller and the march on. Situated deep within the valleys of Vermont's lush mountainous landscape, it has been the one constant on an ever-evolving college campus. And even though Saturday marks the last regular season football game at Sabine Field, as the cadets prepare to install a new synthetic turf stadium, Sabine will always be home. New stadium coming in next year, but uh, when you look back at Sabine Field, when you think of Sabine Field, what kind of, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Um, it's, it's always been a place for us where, you, you know, you talk about in college football home field advantage, and, and for our players and for this program, I think it's always been that. And, um, there is no better atmosphere in, in all of Division Three college football, I believe, than, than this place. Down play, Saber throws it out near side, the pass completed, trying to turn it up field, Al Giorgio does, breaks the tackle out to midfield, 45, 40, now it's a race, 30, to the right sideline, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Al Giorgio! The biggest memory that's closest to my heart in Sabine Field, and one I'll never forget, took place on the 50 yard line, and it was in 1963 in June, and I walked across the 50-yard line from uh, west to east, and I saluted General Harmon. Uh, I shook his hand, and he handed me a commission as a second lieutenant in the United States Army, which <clears throat> to this day is probably one of my favorite accomplishments in my life. When you look out at a I field like this, what do you think of? Well, there's a lot of memories going back uh, to my college playing days. I played against Norwich if, on this field in the, in the late 50s. And then, of course, uh, I came here in 1965 and was an assistant for uh, Joe Sable for 10 years. We had a lot of great games here. Uh, George Turner uh, labeled uh, those years the golden years. And uh, then, of course, I became the head coach in 1975 uh, until 1990. And, coached in uh, well over 150 games here, so there's a lot of memories. Well, I think the first thing that comes to mind is uh, the number of guys that participated in, uh, in football on that field. Obviously, it's, it's been a football pr field primarily uh, over the years, and uh, um, in recent years, uh, we did have a baseball field there years ago, but uh, I think uh, there's a lot of history on that field. Some great rivalries with Middlebury and Coast Guard, uh, in particular, and um, uh, you know I think of the guys that played on that field and and the type of individuals they were and how they represented Norwich. And Chris takes the snap, gives to Triplett straight ahead, breaks it. 30, 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Danny Triplett. Oh, I think it means a lot of things. It's the tradition of the march on, uh, the tradition of the cannons going off after a score, uh, and it's a tradition of hard nose, uh, take no prisoners uh, football, particularly defensive football uh, by the Norwich Cadets. Each and every week that you have an opportunity to, to play on this field in the atmosphere and the core march on is it's a, it's a, like I said, it's pretty special. I, sometimes I, I think in the moment our kids don't understand um, what a special place it is, but to see the alums come back and to say, man, I wish I had a chance to play one more time, and especially on Sabine, um, you realize what a special place it is. A recent one for me when I was coaching, we beat St. John Fishers on a Hail Mary pass down in the end zone right down here, uh, and the parents swarming the field. They were fifth in the country, and uh, it was just a huge win for Norwich and really uh, put our program around. Uh, there was a game that we had uh, against the Coast Guard Academy. We were down 26 to nothing at halftime, and we came back and won the game 29-26. Well, I always have mixed feelings when we do a major renovation because we've come accustomed and love the spaces that we've had before. But I'll tell you, when I think about um, where we were playing hockey before, 
in the barn. Um, and now how we feel about playing hockey in Kreisberg Arena, we have remembrances of how things were. We forget some of the bad things about them, and we only remember the, the really great things, which was, and I've seen a lot of great games on Sabine Field. Um, and I'm going to remember all of those great things, but I'm going to enjoy the new space a lot more. I, I think that um, you know, a lot will have to do with how we play that day, certainly, but um, it's, for us, I, I, it's important for us to continue to protect this place and, and have that home field advantage and when we win more people come out and I think that we've been able to foster that type of environment and um, it's still going to be special for us and it's still going to be home for us it, it, cosmetically we're just uh, we're dressing it up a little bit. And I think everybody will walk here with something different the old timers like myself will be saddened to watch it go but as an administrator here excited to watch a new building. Uh, a new uh, facility come in. So I think it'll be, everybody will walk away with something different. So I think the emotions throughout this stadium on that last day, everybody will have a different one. It'll be bittersweet playing here for the last time. Um, have, have a, had a lot of memories here. And um, yeah, I don't think I'll really fully get it until the game's over. And, you know, when you realize you're done, you're done, you know. Out in the power wishbone set, they hand the ball. Oh no, Saber and faked it, keeps it himself to the left sideline and into the end zone for the touchdown. Uh, just, you know, we've been saying it for four years. We await the snap, there it is. Saber and rolling to the right, looking. He's got a man open, far side, complete touchdown. Wide open on the far side, the cadets pull it in. Uh, a win would be, you know, huge, and um, you know, just playing the, the Norwich way, you know, tough, hard-nosed football is a great, you know, Norwich tradition. Uh, an ideal day will be uh, a beautiful sunny day, but crisp and cold, uh, with a lot of fans in the stands remembering when they played. So all the football teams and all the others that have ever played on Sabine Field can come back and enjoy the day, and they'll all take a piece of the sod home with them, and maybe they'll plant it in there in their front yard or backyard or something and say that piece of grass was where I played. Right, and Sabre in the handoff, that gets stripped up and keeps his balance inside the 10 at the 5, touchdown Norwich! Here is Sabre, takes the football, steps up, he's got a man wide open, touchdown! Oh, by him! Sabre under center, takes it, gives it to Edkins, right side to the goal line, and he's in for the touchdown! Why not give it to you know, We're excited for the new facilities, opportunity to play on it. It's. Um, it's still going to be special for us, you know, playing at home. That that, you know, we're just going to have a, a better facilities to do it on now. For the Sabine project to know that we're going to have, you know, a top quality facility that everybody's going to enjoy, not just the student athletes, but the university in a whole, um, is really really exciting. And and um, um, I think I think probably that will be the. The feeling that I'll have is is looking to the future and, and what that field will bring for us. A boost for the program for the future, and I think that's the way you, you got to look at it.